Hey guys, Swordsman here with a little bit of Gears of War 3 gameplay, and uh, by the title of the video, you might be a little bit confused, because I want to talk about uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And you might be thinking, well, why are you posting Gears footage between it? And th there's a parallel that I want to draw here that I'll get to in a little bit. But uh, first I wanted to mention a little bit about this gameplay. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is Big Head Mode from the Weekend's Community Event. And I gotta say, this big head mode was an absolute blast to play. Uh, uh, everyone he has is supersized, uh, gymungous, huge, freaking, ginormous, whatever, head. But when you couple it with the head, plus they made their voices change, that they're all squeaky and stuff, it was quite the fun event. And uh, this was a game of TDM. We've got uh, myself and Lazy Boy and uh, Arafen, or your, your, I really gotta pronounce his name, Andrew. We'll go with Andrew. I know Andrew. I can say Andrew. And uh, later we picked up a couple more people to come and play Gears with us, and we had a good time. Uh, everything I've learned about Gears of War 3 control-wise, I'm now changing because I started playing on the alternate control setup, which makes it so that way my roadie run and my roll are on X, and my mantle and take cover is on A to separate those two, because now I can run from one end of the map to the other without getting stuck on objects by getting sucked into cover. And I think once I get used to that and get... Ooh, double trade... Once I get used to that, I will be uh, better off than where I am now, so I can already see it helping me, and once I perfect it, well, perfect it as well as I can, it should be even better. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down here and trying to talk about Modern Warfare 3 um, in the most objective terms as I possibly can here. Uh, some people think I do nothing but bash Call of Duty. Uh, some people think I like Call of Duty too much and I hate Battlefield. It's really interesting to see the different uh, takes that people have on what I am and what I'm not. But, uh, so let's get this started. What if MW3 is to MW2 as Gears of War 3 is to Gears of War 2? Just think about that for a second and I'm going to try to elaborate and make that, uh, make a little bit more sense for you guys. Um... A lot of people say that Gears of War 3 is everything Gears of War 2 should have been. Uh, if you look at Gears 3, it doesn't do a ton different. It doesn't do uh, a, a lot um, overall that's so unique and different. It still has that raw, this is Gears of War, this is Gears of War, you're in that universe and this is what you're doing. But it fixed a lot of the past sins that Gears of War 3, or Gears of War 2, sort of had pissed off the Gears community big time. Uh, there's very few people that loved Gears of War 2 that are, were hardcore Gears 1 fans, and it was a really big shame. But Gears of War 3 has been making an atonement, so to speak, for all those past mistakes and the bad experiences and everything, and they're just crying out, this is the game they've been waiting for, Abyss, Lazy, other people that I talk to that I'm friends with. Gears of War 3 is... As close as you can get to Gears of War world being perfected. Some people take issue with the sawed off. A little frustrating, but I'm not going to get into that. So then that got me thinking. Well, what if what if Modern Warfare 3... I thought I was going to get a double Nasher kill right there. But uh, no such luck. What if Modern Warfare 3 took that same route? Now, a lot of people, uh, especially the people that went to that fan expo, the Call of Duty XP... I forget its name, sorry. A lot of people said, well, it plays just like MW2. They say that, but they still said it was generally better than MW2. So what if it, it takes that same sort of role to the franchise? What if, what if MW3 makes up for the sins that were committed in MW2? That has my interest. That has me honestly curious, because being completely objective, I I have my disdain for that game because of a very, very specific set of circumstances that absolutely pissed me off. And, oh, for a moment about this gameplay, yeah, I did swap to the sawed off. I was getting pissed off, and uh, I then went on a few nice kills with it. Though, because I don't pull it out very often, I, I was kind of not too good at using it, but uh, you'll have to excuse me. Anyway, so it, it has, like, MW2 pissed me off for very, very specific things. Hated the one-man army noob tubes. 
Didn't like the nuke. Didn't like the boosters. Uh, the, the weapons seemed a little, I guess, too easy to use, I guess, maybe. The ACR comes to mind. Like It's not like they were, like, there was nothing exactly super OP. It was just that they just didn't... It didn't feel like a nice weapon. Like, I don't know. Maybe I can't really put that into words properly. But, um... But, yeah, there's, like, very few things that I actually... The, the, it's like the, the the small minority of things I hated outweighed the things that I did like. And there was, there was plenty of things I did like, so... I had it in the back of my head from what I've been seeing on MW3, and it's like... They seem to be trying to atone for the sins of MW2... And so it got me interested enough to at least go do my own research about the game. To take some time and openly explore what um, what the game's doing differently with the things that they've released, with this, such as the the perk list, the kill streaks, and stuff like that. And at first, I'll admit, I thought the, the way they were doing the kill streaks was retarded. But now that I looked at it, I kind of like it. I, I like that there's the, the three different sets. There's the, the lethal ones, the less lethal but team friendly ones, and the perk ones. The perk ones, I, I think they, they could probably go without being in the game. Just seems a little weird. Like I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll be they'll be better than what I think, but I don't know. But uh, yeah, it just seems like they're trying to they're they're trying to be the game that MW2 should have been. Does that make sense? Like, Gears of War 3 is the game that Gears of War 2 should have and could have been. So that got me to look into it and uh, to give it a fair sort of in-depth uh, studying of what they've released so far. And uh, got to be honest with you, I I've decided to buy it. Uh, I I've decided to take it up and uh, I will. I pre-ordered it on Amazon actually. And so I'm going to try out uh, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, the easy pluses is that that spec ops mode that they have, the two-player spec ops, looks fun as hell to play. I love that type of gameplay with uh, friends. Why? Well, it's only two people, but you know what I mean. That to me looks fun, and I guess a uh, bit of the uh, what is it? Embarrassing factoid, maybe. I don't know if it's too embarrassing, but I actually like the Modern Warfare uh, single players. The Treyarch ones aren't terrible, but I've actually enjoyed the uh, the, the Modern Warfare too. Uh, they're they're probably the only FPS single players that I always that I always finish reasonably quickly in the game's life cycle, in that I, I actually sort of get myself um, sucked into the storyline, so to speak. That it actually um, I actually know the characters and know their names and remember their names like a day after I'm done playing it, you know, like Bad Company 2 storyline eh, Did not care for it. Didn't care about the characters. I, I I Don't even think I can name a single character from um, Bad Company 2's uh, single players, but I can name several from Modern Warfare, so so those two things alone have me interested that a, gen a genuine non-biased fuck cod thing have me interested in playing. Then you, you toss in giving the chance to the multiplayer to atone for the sins of MW2, and it could be good. Now, one thing I thought I liked about Black Ops that I ended up um, seeing wasn't such a good thing is that I, I used to think that the stackable killstreaks were a problem in MW2. Uh, the only thing I think is that there was the sense that... Um, they were a problem in that uh, five kills could turn into 15, 16, 20 kills, you know, just like in the blink of an eye. But that said, I got to admit, the stackable kill streaks were more fun than the Black Ops kill streaks. I, I just, I don't know. The fact that I could get a Predator and like, ooh, I might have a chance for a Harrier. I, I might have a chance to then get a Pavlo, you know. It, it was more exciting. It was more entertaining, and uh, I used to think personally that well, if you don't stack the kill streaks, then there'll be less camping because people they have to go get their kills. Well, that turned out to be wrong. Holy hell! It just meant they camped harder with ghosts to go get their kills. So 
To me, I say the fun of stackable kill streaks that you never know what, say, a, a predator might turn into is pretty cool. I like that those that will take the support kill streaks, their death will not reset it. So if you're if you're a team player, you don't really care about the killing ones and you just want to get the things that help the team. You can die 20 times, but if you get your 12 kills, you call in the uh, the Blackbird. I think it was 12. So to me, that's cool. That uh, that might encourage people to use more um, more of those. But also, one thing I picked up on is that with the with the UAV being split up like that, I bet there's going to be a lot less UAVs being called in. Watch this. Watch this. Bam. Oh, I timed that perfectly, and that felt good. Oh, I timed that so well. I didn't think I had that in me, to be honest. But anyway, I, I think that with the kill streaks being split up, a lot of people will go for the lethal ones. And there's going to be a lot less UAVs being called in. And if there's going to be a lot less UAVs called, I think you might see a lot less people running the, uh, the ghost-type perk. But even so, now that the ghost-type perk is in the second tier... There's different things that I think are reasonable enough to p draw people's attention to pick it over the ghost type perk. And so, I don't know. I, I have, just full disclosure, I've decided to buy MW3. I have it pre-ordered now. I'm going to go into it with an open mind, an objective viewpoint, and hope I have fun with it. At this point, I've realized that Battlefield 3 is so different that I, I probably have room in my my shooter schedule so to speak for a call of duty a gears of war 3 and a battlefield 3 because for me well metro tried to be like cod in my opinion that's not battlefield to me caspian is battlefield to me and caspian is nothing like call of duty uh, gears of war 3 you might argue a similar ish but to me not quite the same so just full disclosure, decided to uh, go into that and try out MW3. Maybe you guys will as well. Uh, there will definitely be videos going up probably a lot more to Machinima Respawn than to my own channel because, well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you guys will like it. Maybe you guys will come along for the ride. Let me know if my little uh, analogy here worked for you guys. Do you think you might give it a shot? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be uh, replying quite a bit to this one. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time.